wanted to be was a good brown rider with an old family. Deb Copenhaver was born on January 21st, 1925 in Wilbur, Washington. Inspired by his bronc rider cousin Tommy Kuntz, Deb caught and rode wild horses near the Colville Indian Reservation and soon hit the rodeo road. Deb's first competition was at Keller, Washington in 1939. After World War II service in the Navy Seabees, Deb competed in all of the North American rodeos. He won the bronc riding multiple times at Cheyenne, Calgary, Denver, Fort Worth, Houston, Kansas City, Salinas, and the big Madison Square Garden rodeo. Deb said, no cowboy who ever rode in the garden forgot it. The competition and the excitement were heady stuff. The decade of the 1950s was Deb Copenhaver's heyday. To enhance his earnings by competing in more rodeos, Deb teamed up with Paul Templeton and Bill Linderman and went airborne in Paul's Cessna 180. Through the 1950s, Casey Tibbs and Deb dominated the bronc riding. By September 1954, Deb was narrowly leading Casey for the world title. At the Ellensburg Rodeo, the Cowboys were drawing good and riding good when Deb drew the famous Kelsey Moomaw Bronc with the proper name of Snake. Rodeo announcer George Prescott described Deb's ride as one of the finest competitions I have ever seen between horse and rider. Deb lost just before the horn. It would have been a monstrous score. Casey Tibbs won the title in 1954. Then Deb won the World Saddle Bronc title in 1955 and 56. At Ellensburg in 1956, Deb won a go around with a ride on War Paint, the Christensen Brothers Bucking Horse of the Year. Deb made a spectacular ride on Miss Klamath, but was disqualified when the judges declared that Deb had lost the stirrup. Deb worked hard to help in organizing the first NFR where he qualified as a saddle bronc rider. Deb made the last ride of his career in Pendleton, 1974. After retirement, with great pride, Deb watched his son Jeff become the 1975 World's Champion calf roper. After his rodeo retirement, Deb Copenhaver achieved his dream by buying land near Creston, Washington, where he bred and raised quality quarter horses and operated Deb's Cafe in town. During the heyday of Deb's Cafe, there were appearances by Buck Owens, Porter Wagner, Dolly Parton, Hank Thompson, Bonnie Guitar, Ernest Tubbs, Little Jimmy Dickens, and many other country music greats. One night into Deb's Cafe, a friend and I happened to stray. Deb was a waiter, so our order he took. Soon we discovered he was the cook. If there had been entertainment, he would have sang. He had just brought coffee when the phone rang. <clears throat> it was out to the phone, back to the stakes. Sometimes an owner just don't get any breaks. We waited and waited, and finally Deb came. Then he revealed the caller's name. Deb apologized and hoped the stakes weren't burnt. He filled us in, and then we learned. The cook got drunk and the waitress didn't show. The man on the phone was long distance, you know. He was hired to help with the movie, but the director told Fibs. The man on the phone was Deb's friend, Casey Tibbs. I just wish to add one more line. Those steaks tasted mighty fun. Deb relates a story of removing the horn from his bronc saddle. He had loaned the saddle to a friend who had drawn a horse that was about 17 hands tall. When the horse ran into the stripping chute, the horn caught on the crossbar and peeled it back. The cowboys were in a hurry to get to the next rodeo and did not have time to have the horn repaired. They borrowed a hacksaw and a sharp knife and cut the horn completely off. It started a new trend in bronc saddles. A few years later, the bronc saddle was made without a horn. Deb Copenhaver was inducted into the National Cowboy Hall of Fame in Oklahoma City in 1991 the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame in Colorado Springs in 1992. Deb was inducted into the Inland Empire Sports Hall of Fame in Spokane in 1974, the Ellensburg Rodeo Hall of Fame, the Omax Stampede Hall of Fame, and in 2010 into the Pendleton Roundup Hall of Fame. Deb still lives in Creston, Washington.
He is now 90 years old and going strong. Deb has achieved great success in and out of the arena. He has many friends in all walks of life. I take my hat off in honor of Deb Copenhaver for being a great man and all he has done. I thank you all for watching. This has been a presentation by OMAC Hearing Center of OMAC, Washington. See Hannah for all your hearing needs.